Section 10.2, regression. So what is a regression model? Because really that's what you do, is you make a model. So if two variables are known to have a linear correlation, then a model can be created. And the whole point of making this model is it is created to predict future values. For example, consider the problem listed below. If there is a correlation, assuming linear correlation, that each year the number of parking permits that are purchased increases linearly, then we can actually predict how many parking permits will be purchased next year, how many we need to make, how many parking spaces we need to have. So up above, you know, we're asked which line is the best fit for the data. In this graph, these black dots represent each year since 2000. So for example, in the year 2000, we can see that just shy of 10,000 parking permits were purchased. My y-axis is number of permits purchased in thousands. And then it looks like it dropped a little, but over here in 2004, it looks like about um, 10,000 parking permits were purchased. So we've got three lines. We've got this red solid line, which looks like it goes right through the numbers. But if you look closely, it is a little bit above or a little bit below in some cases. Now, this blue dash line actually goes right through a couple points. And the green dot dash dot line, okay, that one's not feeling like a good fit. But which is better, the red solid line or the blue dash line? That's what we're going to find out.